All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Overly Mod of Repentance. Today, we're going to hop in as Eden and hope we can get something okay to start with. Just don't give me, like, two damage. That's not two damage, but we did start with some cool things. So we have some Torium here, which is pretty all right. I know it looks weird. It's because the Pikmin mod. And we don't have Mom's Knife, even though, you know, it looked like it for a second. I got kind of excited. We have the uh, familiar Mom's Knife, which obviously is not attainable normally. It is a modded item added from the Curse Collection, and I, I personally like it. I mean, it does a solid amount of damage, right? What we need to do is get a bunch of red health. That's kind of our goal right now, because basically, Sumptorium can be really good. Um, really, really good. It can it can completely change your runs. Uh, and I think a lot of people don't like it. I also think those people are losers. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't think that, but you know. I do think it is really good. Uh, I, I really do. I think Sumptorium is great. Also, guaranteed the knife has an upgrade, because I know the mod uh, dev would do it. And if he didn't, I'm going to cry. No! Oh, I gave you so much props. Why would you do this to me every other familiar? What is it? Because it's based off something that's already in the game and doesn't have an upgrade. And how would you upgrade the knife? That's boring. Maybe I'm wrong. I gotta be wrong. No way. Oh, I'm so distraught. This is so Sam. Inventory, show me. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, well. Um, okay, so remember when I said I guarantee the knife is an upgrade? I guarantee I have lied to your face, uh, and I apologize sincerely. Anyway, today's question of the day. Uh, do you have any pets? And if you do have any pets, uh, like, listen, listen. I have a Discord, right? <laughs> Should be in the description. Sometimes the link doesn't work. If it doesn't, just yell at me. I'll fix it, okay? Because, you know, on Discord, you can set a link to never expire, and what you would expect that to do... Hmm. <clears throat> Interesting. What you would expect that to do is make it so the link never expires. What it does is not that even in the slightest. Um, it always expires, and I don't understand. Um, I don't. I really don't. I don't I don't press anything. I'll just, I'll use the same link. It'll work for a while. Then it'll be like, well, you know, maybe, I, maybe I'm not working. So if it doesn't work, let me know. But if you have any pets, uh, obviously do not feel pressured to, but you physically need to join my Discord server and uh, send, like, give me, you can leave. I don't care. You can just pop in, send the, send the cat or dog pictures, and then leave. That's fine. I'd rather, you know, you could stay if you want, but realistically, I'm there for the cat pictures, you know? And, and, and I'm saying cat. Dogs work, all right? I love dogs. Do not get me wrong. I'm only saying cats because I'm more used to cats because, like, growing up, I had cats, so that was just my instinctual statement, all right? I'm not shitting on dogs here. I love dogs. Um, but yeah, do you have any... <laughs> Do you have any pets? Uh, and also, it doesn't have to be a cat or dog. You know, you got birds, you got you got mice, you got guinea pig, you got hamsters, you got you got some like porcupines. I don't know what you got out there. All right, but uh, anything works realistically. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take offense if you if you send me a picture of like a bird. I think birds can be pretty as hell. Curse of Creation sucks. Cur <laughs> Cur <laughs> it just slingshotted me across the fucking universe. Gimme. Okay. It just slingshotted me across the goddamn universe. That was very funny. Um, anyway, where, where was I? Where was I? Okay, I was going to talk about my pets next, yeah. So, growing up, my family was always the uh, the cat family, right? Because my my dad did not like dogs that much. He does now. I don't know. It was, it was like a big 180, right? But he didn't like Stabler's Pog. Um, and I like it with soy milk even, having the one eye, I don't know. It just, it makes me feel like a ninja, in a way. You know what I mean? Great. Anyway, moving on. Uh, he, like, he likes dogs now, but we didn't, he didn't like dogs growing up, right? So, we didn't have any. But we had a lot of cats. Um, uh, four, like, four or five cats was our max when, when we had cats. We had a lot of cats. I know that's not, like, a lot to some people, and then that's a ton to other people, but that's just how it works, right? Um... So, I don't technically have any pets because I don't live there anymore, but, yoink, thank you. However, uh, if you count those pets, which I kind of still do, right, because, like, they're my pets, right, they're, they're, they're my cats. Um, if you count them, I, I have three cats right now, uh, Salvador, Patches, and Shadow. They're lovely, I love them. Uh, Salvador's mine, and uh, Shadow would be my dad's, and Patches would be my brother's, basically. Like, if we're, if we're going we're gonna to name people, right? Uh, that, that's who it is. Salvador was a stray at one point who we found uh, outside of our house on my birthday, and it was like, hell yeah. So then we were like, alright, you're mine. And we, no collar or anything, by the way. Um, and yeah, so we took him to the vet, game, checked out and stuff, and never, no one was ever looking for him that we ever found, right? Uh, and uh, years later, we, he's, he's still fucking chilling, like he's still living his life, living his best life. 
So, love Salvador. And he, he's my favorite, for sure. No offense to the other ones. But, other than the cats, A, there's a lot of dogs in my family in general. Not like my family are dogs. Like, my family has dogs. Uh, but, a lot of dogs in my family in general. But I also used to be a dog walker. So, like, I, I have known so many dogs in my life. And they're... I love each and every, like, every single one of them. There isn't one that I don't absolutely adore. So, you know, there's that. I, I, I love dogs. Not, and more than cats, I can't, I can't answer that question, right? I really can't. Um, I think I like them equally. And I just think they're adorable. So, once again, if you have any pets and you're, like, comfortable joining a Discord and sending some pictures of cats, Little Doppel is actually probably one of the most useless things in the entire world. Can he blow up TNT barrels? I don't think so. Great. Um, let, let's double check, because they didn't actually go inside the TNT barrel. Great. Well, that makes him less bad. I'll tell you that for free. We should probably at least check for Matt's sake, but I'm not gonna. Uh, but yeah, so... I love dogs. I think dogs are precious, and, uh... I, 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 miss, I miss the dogs. Um, I miss dog walking, too. Because, like I said, I did used to be a dog walker, and it was... It was a great time. I mean, like, it was probably the most healthy I'd been, too. Because, like, uh, for a while, uh, I walked my sister's dog even and just that like my sister lived like relatively down the street from me so it was almost an hour walk but not quite so it was like a 45 minute walk maybe an hour uh, on days where I wasn't going fast or there was like bad weather right or I needed to stop to get some water all the way at the gas station something like that um we're not gonna go devil deal I really don't feel like it we have some Torium and like we should have red hell uh red hearts and stuff um yeah, let's just, uh, let, let's, let's go normal. Where do you, what pathing do we want to take? I kind of want to try for Mega Satan, so we'll do that. Um, but yeah, so like, it was great. It was honestly such a, a good period of my life because I would actually walk places and like, it was relatively healthy. Um, I would wake up in the morning and go, all right, I have to get ready to go walk the dog. And then I would, you know, get ready and eat breakfast and stuff. Now I would go walk like 45 minutes, an hour-ish away, and then I would get get in there, you know, uh, get in my sister's apartment, I would sit down for a little bit with the doggo, play with it inside, and then I'd get up, take it on like a nice 20 to, uh, 20 minutes to an hour walk, really, it, it depended on the day, um, but take it on a nice walk, and then I would sit down again and then walk home, and that was like several hours of walking, and it was great, and it was a little bit of structure, because like, I was obviously going because... Uh, my sister and her fiance have like work, right? So like they don't, they can't be with the dog twenty four seven. And there's there's a period of time where the dog can't be alone for too long, and they didn't want it to be alone. And like he can go, like he's trained to go to the bathroom inside and stuff if he needs to, right? But you know, it's better to. It, it was more about a company thing, more of just getting him to have someone with him. Uh, so that that that's why I was there. I was there to make sure the dog wasn't lonely. I don't know what to do in this situation. I don't. Okay, there we go. I was like, I don't know how to start this rib. I'm just gonna cower in a corner. Um, but yeah, so, dude, you're actually so, like, so unbelievably stupid. That is the most stupid damage I've ever taken. I don't know if we passed the shop or anything, and I don't know which door is gonna be a door mimic, because I can't see the map, and we're literally gonna get punched by a door mimic. Oh, boy. That was the dumbest thing I've ever done. Well, maybe not that far, but, like, yeah, that was pretty goddamn dumb. Um, anyway... Yeah, so dogs, right? <laughs> anyway, the, the it, was, it was just a great time. It was really, it was really relaxing, and it, it was nice. It was nice being able to, like, not being able to, but having to just walk and move. And once summer hits, I want to start learning this new city I'm in a bit more and, like, figuring out where the hell to go. Because I'd like some sort of... Some sort of almost path to walk, you know what I mean? Like, I just like knowing, hey, if I want to go out, like, this is where I should walk. Because right now, I don't know, like, where is, oh, hey, if you go this way, you're going to get, like, stabbed, and where isn't. And that's, like, an important thing to learn about a city, right? In big cities especially, there are some, there are just literally some streets you don't want to turn down. And, like, in my old city, I knew which streets those were. And, like, that's the thing. Like, as long as you avoided those streets, you're literally going to be perfectly fine. Like, there is not a, like, fear in the world. You are chilling. I would walk, uh, I would walk around as late as like 4 a.m. sometimes, like through the night. So definitely like I was never worried about the, uh, the last place, but that's because growing up there, I, you know where to go. Like he, you know, if like, if you go to the, the bad parts of town, you're going to the bad parts of town and you're aware of that. So it was, it was much easier, but uh, nowadays I don't really know uh, what is bad and what is good in this town yet. I need to sort of learn. And I also, it, it, typically it's like 
I guess, a bit easier to learn. Uh, also, uh, if you know my rule, we're not, uh, we're just gonna leave because, like, if we die, we die. But I don't, I don't fuck around with Curse of the Lost. Okay, good hit. Nope, there's back up, back up. This knife needs to hit him a few more times because this knife is still our biggest source of damage. I like the knife. It's, it's truly like a carry item, even in uh, even in the regular game. It's a, it's a very good. Um, I'm dropping some thorium because we are in a very dangerous spot right now where we can't use HP. I would love to keep some thorium, and I think it is really good, like genuinely, really, really, really good. But we are in a situation right now where we don't have HP, so we can't use it, and we need something we can use. It's as simple as that. Like we need to be able to use something. We can't just uh, have a dead item right now. There's no room for dead items right now. But, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, basically done with the whole pet conversation. I just want to say one more time, I love my sister's dog. I I love that little man. He's, he's adorable, and he's precious, and he is great. Uh, anyway, moving on. I just wanted to now say thank you, actually, for the last episode. Last episode was fucking crazy. You know, view count was completely normal, and I was expecting that. There was nothing, like, super wild going on in the thumbnail or title, or right? It was a very normal episode, very chill. And like I saw the view panel, like, hell yeah, all right, we're doing good. Like, that's it, we're doing good. And I was more than content with that, right? Because why would I, why would I ever care about, uh, like, doing great? I don't ever, I don't ever strive to do, like, three million times better. And if I don't, I'm not going to get pissed at myself and be all like, man, what the hell? I can't believe, like, this video only got 3,000 views instead of 4,000. Fuck, like, no, I'm not that kind of person, right? But, like... Y'all are real fucking champs, because even besides view count, which is only one of the 12 million statistics, right? Everything was just, like, super high for that episode. Like, thanks. I don't even know how to, like, properly thank you, because the amount of subscriptions that I got from that episode al alone, like, the amount of you that subscribed last episode was fucking crazy. It was, like, it was, like, 50 people from an, a video with, like, just average views and average subscriber that uh, game per video is not even it's not 50 by the way so like genuinely guys uh thank you and if you're new to the channel hello i'm stupid and i play isaac and i don't do it very well and that's why we're on one hp and we have been for several floors now um but no seriously thank you guys from like the the bottom of my heart because the, this truly means the world to me and uh, that was fucking like it was super weird to see because i was like all right all the, the super popular videos are sort of, uh, they're peaking now, so sub count should now slow. We hit, we hit 6,000, and that was really fucking cool, and I was like, that, that's dope as hell. But now we're gonna, we're gonna slow down again, and then eventually there'll be more popular videos, and then we'll, like, we'll have our, we'll have our, like, steady incline, right? Because that's how YouTube works, always a steady incline. But then we'll have a fucking, like, leap eventually, because that's also how YouTube works. Eventually you just get this giant leap, thank you game, run is officially saved. Eventually you get this giant leap because one video pops off, and that's how it works. You're, you're basically farming for leaps uh, if you're if you're farming for fucking subs, and I'm really not. I'm I'm at such a comfortable point right now that I don't care what happens, but when it does, it's cool to see, right? That, that, that's my sort of headspace right now. Because keep in mind, once again, YouTube is my job, so obviously I care. I can't I can't just be like, oh yeah, no, I don't care at all. If I get five views, it doesn't matter. No, 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 no. To be honest, that that does actually matter though. Like if we're gonna be real, that <laughs> that that directly affects my ability to pay rent um so you know oops uh you know not not the smartest career choice uh when you're so when you're so low on uh subs and everything but like hey it's fucking fun and you just have to grind it and keep on top of it and and it's great it, it, it's not the smartest but it is probably the best i could have made uh and it, it's all thanks to every single one of you and i really do appreciate it it's fucking double quad shot that's awful right we're taking it one quad shot Two quad shot. Oh, it's not awful. Okay. And it only gives you the damage down from one. So we get double quad shot soy milk. This seems awful. <laughs> this seems awful. This does not seem good. Um, we have to be like in people's faces. Just that. Ah, fuck you. What the hell was that? I thought you were charging down. You, you little, you little grimy cock. You little stupid bitch. Ha. Take that. Um, anyway. Sorry for my vile language there. Uh, anyway, anyway. What's this? Temple that homing and Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Um, but yeah, it's just, it was fucking wild. Seeing, like, all those people go, yup, and just click on that button. It doesn't seem like that big of an action, right? Because all you're doing is clicking a button. It totally is that big of an action. Like, that, to someone like me, that, that means the literal world. So, I'm just gonna thank you for, like, the 12th time. And then we'll move on from thanking you, because, uh, I have thanked you enough. But I really, I'm gonna actually thank you just one, one more time, and just say, uh, 
I, I really like. I didn't expect my YouTube channel to ever get relatively big in any sense of the word, right? I have been uploading since I was 12, as I have said before, and I remember a while ago, I hit. Fuck you. I hit 100 subs. And I remember hitting 100 subs. It was fucking glory. It felt like the best day of my life. I mean, I, I had. I had Try, I had done several YouTube accounts before that, right? Never gotten close to 100 subs. Um, and at that point, because of how good I was doing, or at least how good it felt like I was doing, and 100 subs is pretty good, by the way, so if you ever like, man, I'm, I'm only at 100 subs, be proud of that, seriously. The beginning is the hardest part. If you keep going, you'll get somewhere. Um, but, yeah, like, I just... I remember grinding my ass off. Like, I genuinely, I was doing so much YouTube. I would do like three to five uploads a day and like two of them were uploaded. It was from the moment I woke up to the moment I went to sleep. It was all the time. And that was because I wanted to, I, like, I was at 100 and I got to like 180 and I was fucking stoked. Like, I, it, it was this direct thing where I could put in a lot of work and get something out. Uh, but then eventually it kind of just plateaued and like you're, you're writing all these videos and putting in so much effort to them too. Because they were genuinely edited and probably better edited than my current fucking videos nowadays. Um... But, you know, it's like you put in all that work and then eventually it plateaus and you're not seeing anything out and you're like, well, fuck, like, do I stop? And then I took, I took my fair share of fucking breaks. Anyone, anyone from the old days can fucking tell you that. Ask Pigeon, he'll know that I fucking stopped uploading for months on end several times, right? That's because, like, I had real life and there was, like, that, the YouTube channel wasn't going anywhere, so I had to do it. Uh, but I always fucking, like, it was a dream, always, that it would. And then just, you upload one goddamn video about the new birthright effect, because you're like, I could cover this, I haven't seen anyone do it yet. Sure, it'd been like fucking actually an hour since the update dropped, and maybe I was trying to actually specifically get views. But my goal was to get like, in my head I was like, oh, I might be able to get the 200 subs off this. Um, and like, and that was like 20 subs away at the time. No, man. Oh, here, why don't we just... Um, no, that video blew up, got to like 30k views, which is the highest I'd ever seen past my previous highest video it was crazy bowl of tears uh we have just lost flight because bowl of tears can be oh wait no we didn't because bowl of tears uh it has your damage and that makes it useless we're trying to go mega satan so we gotta fight this dude not that i don't want to fight this dude but we sure have to um but yeah so like just that one video and then like literally everything changed so i i do genuinely like that that was such, such a fucking wild time period unprecedented numbers you know they were talking over a hundred thousand views on a video multiple times like things that weren't supposed to happen to me you know what i mean and y'all made it happen so I, I do really appreciate it but anyway this run i'm gonna be straight with you all right i'm gonna be straight with you this run is awful this <laughs> well it's not awful it's very fun but we need something we need because soy milk needs something to be good it's not good on its own we need something and right now we just don't have it but i do like the the two quad shots i think that's a that's a fun thing in this run for sure you don't often see two uh two quad shots let alone two quad shots with soy milk so i do like that but that doesn't make the run inherently good just on its own and i would like the run to be good but it's fine especially for for room clearing we can manage because we have like okay dps and the knife is pretty damn good it's bosses that are gonna probably slow us down a little just because like we don't really have great we have like okay damage we can fight bosses and like not instantly die but we won't do great like we'll we'll probably get hit a couple times just due to how long it'll take to kill the boss but that's fine uh i'll be honest uh i'm kind of just going I, I know i go fast a lot in my runs but i'm trying to go fast obviously it's not working because we end up full clearing every goddamn floor right now but uh i'm trying to go fast because like i i'm gonna i'm trying to take two days off of youtube because to be honest i haven't had a break in so goddamn long and i am going genuinely like crazy um, so I need a break, and I don't want to stop uploading, so I can do one more day of really pushing, I think, so what I'm gonna do is record three videos today, just the, just these videos, so you won't see an edited video for a few days, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna find out, I'm also gonna start one today though, so I might, I might nibble at it over my two days off, um, but I'm gonna record three days to, uh, three videos today of this kind, and then render all of them out and everything, so all I have to do for the next, uh, two days is, probably make the thumbnails today but that, that requires like a lot of effort and i'll be honest i might end up not doing that but at most what i'll have to do over the next two days is drag a file over to uh, youtube enter in the video information so like you know the title and description and everything 
uh, make a thumbnail and then I'm done. And that's like a 20 minute process right there because thumbnails do not take long to make. Sometimes longer if I'm going like a little custom, going like a little freestyle, you know what I mean? But usually not long. So that will be really good for me, I think. It's been it's been a couple days. It's been a couple days since uh, I've had a break. I want to say it's been like, I don't, I don't know. It's definitely been weeks and like... Believe it or not, even though my job is quote unquote to play video games, you have to realize like if a video takes five hours to make, and I will say four, I'm gonna be a little generous here. Video takes four hours to make. Only like 40 minutes of those four hours for me playing video games. The rest is me editing and other stuff, right? So it's like, you, you know, my job is to play video games, and then that's like actually a small portion job. It's like, uh, it's like saying your job is to eat food because you have a lunch break. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's it's really not. Uh, not even close. Even even for these videos, right? Uh, because I still have to render them and make the thumbnail and, and everything like that. And that, like that stuff, that's how, like how you get views isn't the content you make. It's what you fucking name your content, which still upsets me. But I mean, that makes sense for for an algorithm. How else, get, how else is it going to work, right? You can't base it off the content without knowing the content. And like, it can't just go like read all the content and then go, man, that was really good as an AI. I mean, I guess it theoretically could, but you know, you get what I'm saying, I hope. So like, it's what you name and what you put, uh, what you like title it, what you put as a thumbnail. Those things are the important parts to, uh, to like how your video does. Your video can be shit and make you more money than your best video in the world, and that's that's very unfortunate. But I try to, I try to do, I try to be honest. And I try not to clickbait too much, and I try to. You gotta clickbait. Clickbaiting is just what that's called being a YouTuber. All clickbait is is baiting someone into clicking, and bait isn't always a lie. For instance, if you that's a worm to a hook, right? Um, yeah, the, the fish gets food, right? <laughs> you might get, you might get eaten, uh, because you'll, you'll eat them later, but the fish still gets food, right? You can't, you can't tell me he doesn't. I'm trying to get my speed up to naturally 1.5, there we go. This way, whenever we drop the, the horseman thing, we'll lose flight, but we won't lose our speed. Um, but like, you know, he, he gets, he gets the food, right? He, he got baited, and, and that, that's bad, right? I would say, because he does get eaten, but... Let's say it's one of those things where, like, it, this does technically hurt the fish, but we'll, we'll pretend it doesn't, okay? Say it's one of those things where it's a catch and release type situation where, you know, you bait the fish, you give him his food, then you let him go. He got his food, and he's fine relatively minus the hole in his mouth, but, like, we'll, like I said, we're ignoring that hole in the mouth, right? So, you know, the, it's it's a catch and release style. It's not just a lie, like some like some fake food that they tried biting and then fucking and absolutely got ramshackled. Um, it, it, it's real. Those are the two types of clickbait, even though that really didn't explain it. I'm, gonna, I'm still getting into that, to be honest. Um, those are the two types of uh, clickbait. There's bad clickbait. Why did you take my chest? I want... Oh, it had decay. I thought that was, like, something else, damn. Um, but, yeah, so, like, basically... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, why did you do that? I just walked into him. I, I don't know why I got so scared by him that I actually walked into him. But, uh, yeah, basically, every YouTuber clickbaits. That is the part of the YouTube experience and being a YouTuber. The the difference becomes: Are you going to be a YouTuber that clickbaits and lies to get views, or are you going to be a YouTuber that uh, are you going to be a YouTuber that clickbaits but like doesn't lie at all? You know, like you you, you got to make the titles as clicky as possible. That that's what clickbait is. It's just making the titles clicky. But the the best way to not clickbait is to make videos that are clicky, right? Because if you make videos that are clicky, you make the thumbnail clicky, you make the title clicky, but it, it's all true. You know, as long as you're sticking to the truth, then it's perfectly fine. Um, you just can't be fucking lying in your shit, or else you're just that's just rude. Like, I don't like that. Like, a like actively lying in titles and thumbnails and stuff, that's just... It's super annoying. I don't like when people do it. I understand why people do it. I like when people waste keys, though. That's always fun. Um, but, yeah, I don't get why people do it. But I try not to. I feel like there was a greater point behind this conversation than me talking about uh, clickbait and stuff. But that's fine. But <laughs> whatever it was, it's gone now, so we don't really care. Get the last one, too. Oh, he turned around. What a moron. Yeah, this run could still use a serious amount of help. In fact, this run's kind of weird. We have more modded items on, but we don't have many modded items. I wonder if I forgot to... No, here's the thing. I think I wonder if I forgot to turn on some mods. Zero chance I left, uh, like, if a cat community mod on, but nothing else. I would never do that, because that's always the first one I turn off. Fuck you. Fuck you. I don't... I think rooms with turrets don't shut off after completion, unless they are just a specific turret room with no enemies. They don't make sense. Like... At all. It's, is it a trap room or is it a mob room? You make your choice, but don't fucking say, oh, it's both. Like, no, 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 no. Get the fuck out of here. Make your choice. Don't be a, don't be a little baby about it. You have one of two options. Trap, 
mob. One of those dude. Don't 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 trick me like that and make me just like think it's gonna be one or the other and then it's like ah it's both just kidding not an option wasn't on the list sorry i mean that was like a i feel like i dodged there but i also might have never been hit no matter what so i feel like i also did nothing this is one of the rooms like why is it like this and like that i just i don't i don't get it oh this runs really good guys this run is just like honestly this runs top tier i can totally see us winning this one with no worries whatsoever I'm getting worried, because the thing is, I was so distracted by talking, I didn't see how bad this run was, and we were kind of just going. This run's really bad. I mean, yeah, quad shot, quad shot, soy milk is, like, pretty funny, but it's not very good. We have no health. We've gotten one goddamn health upgrade in the entire game. Sorry, two, but one was an eternal heart. It's like, when you got nothing, you got nothing, and that's not a good something to have, you know what I mean? And we need to get this angel deal, but realistically, we're getting hit, you know? Especially when you get fucking rooms like this, where they put hosts in traps. Don't ever give me a walking host in a turret. Don't... In fact, I, well, let me, let me reword that. Don't ever give me a walking host. Alright, what's in the shop? Oh boy, can anything be upgraded? Bomb bag, thank god. That's what I wanted to be upgraded. Um, then nothing here helps us except maybe this because we could theoretically at some point get like health from that. You know what I mean? Um, dude, this room is just don't ever just what did I say about doing this? What did I say about doing this? Um, I guess we pop our soul heart and we pop our devil card and then we fight. Okay, we have one free hit. We have 1.6 damage, which everyone knows is like the most amount of damage in the game. Where'd my knife go? My knife is such a big source of my damage. Why did they take it from me? I didn't. I, I couldn't put it in the upgrade machine because we don't have. Like that. That would be literally impossible because it doesn't have an upgrade. What the? I want my knife back. Thank God we had this devil card. Without the devil card, this fight would have been awful. That was a risky play. Knowing we had one free hit, I was fine with it. Got the angel deal. We'll take a uh, negative for the damage. We need damage right now. Even if it's not a lot. Swarm protector. Where are our modded items? You know, like, you download a mod specifically to avoid this problem and still run into this problem. I find that uh, impressive. Probably shouldn't have picked this up yet, but luckily this is the e easy angel, so we just gotta be, like, a little careful and we should be fine. But, like, yeah. We have, like, what? Starcross necklace is our only modded item in the entire game right now. Sorry, little Doppel, but he doesn't actually count as anything at all. Um, oh, that was a choice. Oh, I gotta remember, we, I, I forgot we had that. I saw it was DK, so I chose it. Yeah, but Starcross Necklace is, is our only actively useful uh, modded item. Then we have little Doppel. The little Doppel is like, basically useless. Like, he's not actually useless, because he does something technically, but does he? But, <laughs> but does he? Uh, so that's not very helpful unfortunately also by the way whatever damage up we get we can basically multiply it by like five because that's how many tiers we're shooting i think how many we're shooting six tiers that's so much better so if we get like a 0.1 damage up there's like a 0.6 damage up if we're hitting all the tiers so that's good um this can be a health up i mean it is a health so it's not bad but uh not useful yet hopefully it's never useful because that would mean we lost our soul heart yeah now we lost our fucking soul heart Oh, boy. I mean, like, listen, when you have absolutely nothing at all going through your run, and then it's like, you're gonna lose some soul hearts. I didn't, I don't know why. From the beginning, I really didn't think this would be, like, how this run turned out. This run felt like, well, I, like, from the start, I was like, alright, we start with this knife, this is gonna be strong. Then we saw soy milk, and I feel like my mistake is always picking up soy milk. I gotta stop. It always, it always hurts me. Oh, good. We got some luck, guys. Don't worry. See, the, the problem we had was he didn't have a 1.5 times luck multiplier. I get it now. I just please? Thank you. Poker chip. It's just a 50-50. Okay, but it's just a 50-50. And I don't, I don't think I want that. Oh, boy. Please don't corner me like this. Why would you ever, ever, ever exist? Oh, my goodness. That was horrifying. Like, that was horrifying. I need to sip my coffee after this room. Oh, my God. That was, like, actually awful. How he escaped from that, I have no idea. All right, I need to sip my coffee. Okay, okay. Man. I also hate this room. 
Yeah, this this run is uh this run's definitely interesting, but you know what? I'm gonna fight through it because here's the thing, right? If we die like right now, I think this is still good enough for a video, right? I, I would hope. I think <laughs> if you guys agree, that's really cool. One of you don't, I get it. Um, but oh boy, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, good. We got both of them. Great. Okay, okay, okay. But uh, so the thing is, I gotta record three videos today, so I don't have time to make sure the runs are good and stuff. And like, like if the run is shit, I don't have time to go. Okay, well we're still early. Maybe I'll restart and do this because I do do that sometimes. By the way, guys, I'm gonna be straight up with you. If the run is bad. If the run is bad enough, and the and the episode would have been like five fucking minutes long. Guess what? Uh, I'm not gonna upload it. And usually I'll even say in that episode that like, yeah, I uh, oops, like I, I tried a couple times before this and it just was shit. So I'm not like trying to hide it. This is, this isn't a streak or anything. I'm not like not fucking resetting my save file. I forget how they do it, but uh, I know I was watching. Eating One Piece recent video on uh, some stuff that I'm not going to bring up fully because if you guys want to top it in the comment section, go ahead, but I'm not going to try to instigate it and make it be in my comment section, but I know he's talking about some fucking force, but it doesn't, I don't know, he's talking about force closing, but I thought, yeah, honestly, all we could have done is, like, genuinely the only option there was spacebar, and I find that hilarious because if we, obviously we didn't use spacebar item, we should have, but if we didn't have the spacebar item, there would have been no option. Like, we would have just been hit, and we were, but, you know. At least we had a way out of it, but we fucked up. And I and if, and if you fuck up, it's okay. Why are we shooting this? Dude, it has health. I'm so distracted. What the fuck? What are you? That's so weird. This book is good. Um, this book is good. It, it'll actually help. And I think telepathy for dummies is honestly worth taking. Uh, we, we don't, we don't have flight, which is going to be a real unfortunate thing. But, like, you don't need flight. I meant to do this. Uh, you don't need flight. And, honestly, I just... I, I would like the damage. Like, our damage, is, our damage is what's hurting us. Not the fact that we don't have... Not the fact that we, um... Uh, not our movement or anything, sorry. They went, I made sure to get to the uh, correct amount of health. Rich mahogany chest. What kind of chest is this? Um, I guess it's the... Like... What's it called? Uh, the, the, like, old chest, the Isaac chest things that have all the pills and cards and stuff inside of them. I don't really get those often, so, I, and I don't have them unlocked by the main save file, so, like, I don't really think about them at all, ever. Alright, that's kind of adorable. Um, oh, we're here. <laughs> Look at Mini Thwomp. Come on. Oh, Big Thwomp, Big Thwomp, Big Thwomp. Great, okay. Ooh. That doesn't do anything for us, right? No, that doesn't really help. We can take the penny, but it's kind of out of the way. Okay, now we're in a situation where like all the uh, all the bosses and shit, they'll 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 kind of get a decent amount of damage taken. Okay, stay in the corner. Okay, so the corner strat seems to work. Someone told me about the corner strat in my comment, and I, I didn't actually know about it, but uh. Apparently, you can go in the corner and be relatively safe. I think top left is technically better or something, but... Ooh, we got like an 8% angel chance. I am more than okay with that. Active contrition. We're still just not getting the modded items you want to see in a run where you have more modded items turned on. You know what I mean? Like, typically, that uh, that leads to you getting a lot of modded items, but just no. Uh, here we go. I mean, 8.5 rate of fire is so much better, right? We're getting to a point where this run is, like, almost good. I think it might actually be good right now. I, I have to test it out, but... And I think we're definitely away from the bad territory, for sure. I heard a clink. Okay, bottom right chest is not something we want to touch. Thank you. Oh, boy. And we'll send another key here. See, this is where we wish we had flight, but, you know, like, what are you going to do? So We obviously know some rooms will miss our flight, but at the same time... Ouch. But at, at the same time, I think Telethe Paper Dummy is one of the best, like... I think it's a uh, highly underrated active item. People, I think people know it's good, but people always like go, oh yeah, 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 but like so many things are better than it, even in the book world. There were so many times where I would rather have it than Book of Revs. I'm not even like, I think it is so goddamn good, especially because it's a two room charge. If you get nine volt, you have homing, you know? Obviously if you have homing, then it's useless, but like, obviously like, that's not, that, that wasn't something anyone was like, oh, but what does it do when you have homing? I mean, maybe it actually does something. Hmm. They could theoretically make your homing better, but I'm going to tell you right now, 99% chance it does not do that, so we'll just assume it doesn't, okay? Um, but if you have homing, obviously you don't need it, but it's like, how many runs do you have homing? None. Or like, you 1 in 12 million. I find, I find I get homing more from Sacred Art than like Spoonbender, for instance. 
Um, so like one in like nine million runs you get homing, right? How many runs do you want homing? Oh yeah, all of them. You see the difference there? You see the difference? Um, so tell us if your dummy helps. Uh, if, if you take it more, you'll have homing more, and having homing is cool. So I hope that helps sell you. Come on, we're going negative, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Estrogen up. Boink. It's been a while, guys. Remember when we had Sumptorium earlier in this run? Well, yeah, things have changed. This is what our run could have looked like had we kept Sumptorium. Yeah, how much more fun this would have been. Yeah, how great this would have been if we kept Sumptorium. I also do think we probably only lived because of our flight, if we're being real. Uh, there were several situations where I just, I don't see us getting out of it without, uh, without, uh, the freaking the, the flight. So, even though, uh, this would have been a really fun run to have, this run really wasn't an option. You know what I mean? Like, the only option was, uh, have this run for, like, a minute and then die. Or just drop this run and, and win. And look, I mean, we got to see the run at the end of the day anyway, right? Because of the estrogen uphill, so I'm definitely not complaining. Oh, okay. Thank you, uh, book of stu stuffy things. Okay, and now this run really shines because now we have homing on. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I, this this is just really great. This is just really great. Double quad, double quad shot soy milk sumptorium. I can't even name it that because someone will get pissed. Like, but you dropped sumptorium, dude. Y'all need to stop. Not not you all, but like, I I got one comment from the video where I had TM trainer in. And, and like in the th in the thumbnail and I put it there because it was you know completely relevant because we picked up TM trainer it royally screwed over our run forced us to, uh, to do the East house jar thing what is this can't find the item test on two angel items test on creature item chance on an item to so okay no, no two soul hearts well soul bond is not great we know that is it is, so is getting a item actually an option there or is it a fucking lie because I have a feeling it's just a lie it's one of those things you never see an item out of but uh, yeah, like, TM Trainer fucked over our run, gave us an item that almost caused a game break, that completely changed everything, uh, forced us to use Esau's jar thingy to reroll our run, and then drop it because we couldn't even use the last run anymore. So yeah, what, but why do we have this? I am uncertain as to why this is happening. Oh, we have item wisps. Why? I don't even know what gave us item wisps. Probably a book of stuffy things. Okay, well now we have a uh, tiny planet, I guess, which is cool. Uh, this is like absolutely just not okay. This is <laughs> this is just this is just all sorts of wrong. Oh, there's too many things that are gonna hurt me here. Uh, stop chasing me! Stop! <laughs> oh boy, this is great. I like this. This is a fun run right here. I wish we, I wish we had an actual tiny planet. Oh, he invaded my force field. That's personal space, buddy. Personal space. So uh, we can still use homing with this, which is gonna be interesting. But yeah, like, so I, I put TM Trainer in the thumbnail because of that, because it, it made sense. Like it did so much for the run, and it's cool, and it's clickable. You know, we're gonna we're gonna top a thumbnail, like actual YouTube stuff. I'm not just gonna front and be like, oh, well, uh, I don't I don't care. Once again, this is my job. Yes, I do care. Okay, straight up, just facts. Yes, I care. Is it the only thing that matters? No, I, I want semi decent looking thumbnails to tell the truth, uh, and are clickable. You know, uh, I, I need a little bit of everything else. I want none of it. Okay, good. Now it's just us. The game isn't lagging. Um, but, yeah, so, he was like, yeah, this is why people get mad at you, because you put TM Train in the thumbnail, and you didn't even have it for long. Okay, I'm gonna be real with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't have it long. Um, however, there's there's more than just having an item for a long time, right? Um, that, that, that doesn't determine how useful it is. Let's say you get, uh, let's say you use Eden's Soul, right? And then you get items that completely win you the run. You didn't carry it with you to the end of the game, but did it completely change your run? Yeah, and it's the same story here. Um, but on the oh yeah, that's actually a really good, uh, really good thing. But like, I just I don't know. I, that, that's something I've seen uh, complained about like two or three times now. Not often, not often. Only like a couple times, right? But like, I don't like I don't really get it because if I was watching a YouTube video and someone like put uh, put Sacred Heart in their thumbnail, right? And I saw that, and they didn't get it till the end of the video, I'd be like, all right. <laughs> Like, was it a good video still? That, that, that'd that be the question I'm asking. Was it a good video? Yes, I enjoyed it. No, I didn't. Whatever. Um, and w But would I care about the fact that Sacred Art wasn't until the end? No, it was in the video, like thumbnail promise. Thumbnail say, hey, this here? Then yes. Obviously, it's better when the item's there for a long time if you're excited about it. But, like, if it's there, it's there. And that's all that matters to me personally. Like, I'm, when, I, when I make my videos, I try to think about, like, would I be upset if this happened? Like... If someone did this, if I watched a video and this happened, would it, like, make me pissed or no? 
And if the answer is no, then I make it a thumbnail. So every thumbnail you like, every thumbnail title, everything you see from me is stuff I look at and go, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, well, we lost Tiny Planet, so no more Tiny Planet. I'm just gonna also pop that because it's a funny pill. It doesn't actually affect bosses or anything. However, it should affect the leeches on the third phase. I'm assuming. You're, I really expect you to shoot a laser. Why do? Oh, Swarm Protector is the one sucking in the bullets, huh? I've been sitting here this whole time, like, why the fuck are we sucking in bullets? I've seen that for several floors and never questioned it. Yeah, this run's definitely good enough to win. The run never got, like, completely cracked, but, like, the run got good, right? I wish the run got a little better, just because you like seeing super overpowered runs, but I'm okay with seeing just a really good run. That, believe it or not, that won't utterly piss me off. Okay, maybe having tiny leeches that you can't see is not the best course of action. And there we go. Hell yeah. On to the final floor. Um, we should be good. I, I think we'll win this. I am super hungry too, and I don't know if I've been to this earlier, but I made a rule where I'm not allowed. I, I don't know why I made this rule. I think it was today just so I could get, because I have three videos going on. And it's only a today thing, by the way. But I was like, okay. Yeah, we can lose this. Conjoined? Okay. That's kind of just weird. Not even good. It's actually just weird. But, uh, yeah, so I made this, like, Okay, I was like, where the fuck's I using? Where are the enemies? They all just like, oh, they're invisible. That 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 is a fair point if we're gonna be honest. I was like, well, I know they're tiny, but God, where I can't can't see them at all. Um, but yeah, so I made the rule where I am not allowed to go and I'm just gonna go do Mega Satan, man. I promised I would, so now we're just gonna go do it like right now. I'm not even gonna go to the lamb. It doesn't matter. The lamb fight is just it's just gonna take some time and probably make us lose some health we could gain some items okay well now i feel like i have to because the game get oh we have seven luck never mind let's clear this floor um but yeah so basically i don't know how i haven't finished the sentence yet uh today i was gonna eat i was gonna eat lunch and i was like no you have to finish recording before you eat because since i have three videos to record um i need to start rendering soon because it's already 2 p.m and i need to get one video out today um and i want to render all of them today and they take like over an hour to render each so, I needed to record soon, and if I made lunch, it would have just been a waste of time when I could have made lunch while I was rendering, right? And then it would have been, like, no time wasted at all. Uh, so yeah, right now I'm currently, uh, just awaiting to finish the- I'm waiting to finish this run so I can eat. But now also, since we have so much luck, I ain't just gonna fucking leave. We have nine luck on the chest. Well, the dark room, same thing. Pa once you're past the first room, literally the same floor. Um, but we have so much luck, we're gonna get so many items. And none of them are modded, though. None of them. We're seeing no modded anything. So we're seeing a couple. Also, I still have an updated Ross's booster pack. Uh, okay, Google. Uh, set an alarm for 2.30. Great, okay. Uh, hopefully when I hear that... That was a weird fucking item, wasn't it, game? Hopefully when I hear that alarm, I'll remember, uh, oh, like, that for Ross's booster pack, and then I'll go do that, because that should be, like... Mid cooking noodles. I'm at the like at the point where I'm just kind of letting them sit there. Avenger emblem, really good damage multiplier. As you can see, we're up to we're up to two damage with soy milk. Not bad. Is that a is that a reflected chest? No, it's just the key. Mm, do we need it? It's just it's range down. But I think uh oh that's worth it because I think uh telepathy for dummy actually gives you a range up. So we would like one more range up on top of that. But let's go let's go first of all dad charm. No one cares. Uh, let's go grab the strength card, because that's going to be for our uh, Mega Satan fight. But more importantly, let's check out this room and use this. Yeah, so it does give you a good amount of range, so we're still we're still fine. Let's do 11 rate of fire, 2 damage. That's that's just solid. And with obviously with homing, that's just really good. And we have like 7 tiers coming out. Usually we can hit like 6 of them with homing. The one to the left just goes way too far. They hit that and the right one. But that's fine. Oh, give me. Oh, I thought, I thought we'd get both, and we didn't. I don't know why. I'm so stupid, basically. We just threw away health for nothing. We're, we're gonna we're gonna sum that up real quick. Come on, come on, blow up, blow up, you absolute buffoon. There you go. Yeah, we're gonna sum that up real quick. I threw away health for nothing. Uh, there was, I love that. You know, there's a nice option of the free chest or the not free chest. What do you choose? The not free chest, right? Obviously, that makes sense. Let's be honest, guys. Come on. Holy water is so good. Wish we had a sewing machine, though, because, uh, I've never had upgraded to Holy Water, but that sounds ridiculous. Holy Water is already one of the best familiars in the entire game, so upgrading it seems really good. By the way, we're still not fighting the lamb. We're just going to full clear the floor. Give me all the bomb upgrades, honestly. Blood bombs, Nancy bombs, uh, the ghost bombs. Yeah, just keep keep them coming. That, that, like, when, when I think of what do we need, I always think of uh, bomb upgrades, you know? 
they're just the best items in the game because you're always actively attacking with bombs. There's never a chance. There's never a time where you're like, hmm, I'm not attacking with bombs right now. Also, we even got a hit off floor because we have the the, the item that, uh, dude, I tried to fucking touch this. Ch I tried. I tried my absolute best. <laughs> I tried as hard as I could, and the game was just like, well, like, no, get away from me. You smell like, uh, you know, beef. Um, yeah, wow fact is kind of interesting. It's a modded item, which is cool, but like, is it? But foul guts. Oh, foul guts just gave us so much HP. All right, there's the boss room. Like I said, we're not going. We could, but like, it's not even gonna drop an item. Best case scenario, we get like a deli portal or something, and then that's the only thing it can drop. But like, we don't want that. We what we want is to go to fight Mega Satan and leave. I think after this road, we'll finally go and fight Mega Satan. Because to be honest, we've gotten nothing out of this. Like. The entire floor has just been, like, absolute dog water. It's just been like, hey, here, here's some bombs. Hey, here's some bombs. Hey, here's some bombs. Oh, you wanted holy water? Great. Oh, here's some bombs. It's like, okay. Like, <laughs> the damage multiplier is good, obviously, and stuff. It's just like, come on. Okay, well, now I'm getting tempted to keep going because of how many fucking items we're getting. Like, <laughs> we're getting... Listen, they might not be good, but we're getting so many that I really want to keep going. I keep saying, hey, we're going to go to Mega Satan. But, like, it's so hard, and we have Book of Stuffy Stuff that gives us, uh... Items for clearing rooms. Not items, but, uh, stuff. Coffee? So how, how far can our damage go up? Three! That's crazy! We get, like, base damage if we're, if we're just zooming. That's crazy. Ow. We lost our holy mantle charge. Honestly, you know, you gotta use it eventually, right? Okay. Now I'm actually good, because now I'm hungry enough to the point where I want to leave. Unless you get a chest here, then I'll be convinced. Oh my god, well now I gotta go. Okay, well, we got Candle Kid. Now we'll use it. Okay, this room should be quick. We got homing and there's no big bosses. Come on. Come on. Clear the room. Great. That should be the end. Oh, but listen. Then you see the chest. And then you're like, oh, but that was a pretty bad item. I'm sure we can do better. Then you walk into this room. You get double dark one. Then you're like, man, this kind of sucks. But at least it's not double adversary again. And then you kill one. And then you're like, wow, this is all of a sudden a lot less difficult. Um, and then you're going to get your chest. And then go, man, I can probably get something better. And then go clear that top room. And then you're going to full clear the entire dark room. That's basically what's happening here. I could definitely do better. All right, we're going to go to this top room. Spider baby. See? See? So worth it. So worth it. Can't even tell me it wasn't because you can see that. That was so worth it. That was like immediately just fantastic. We had spider. What does spider baby do? I'm not actually sure. I think it makes spiders friendly, which is kind of useless. Which, <laughs> Which doesn't help us at all right now. Run the sack. After each third completed room spawns a random week from earlier. Okay. I mean, like, that means we'll maybe get some friends eventually. Oh, good. Quick room. We love these. Come on. Okay. Uh, so I'm trying to play with one hand because I gotta get to sip my coffee. Hell yeah. Okay. Not the kind of chest we wanted, if we're gonna be real. But you know what? It's another bomb upgrade. But realistically never mind because what else could we ever want just another bomb upgrade that's fantastic we got four bomb upgrades in this floor that's hilarious look at our bombs now bam so cool <laughs> a bed that does not oh no i guess it heals. it heals me for a singular heart i'm okay with one heart being healed that's better than zero hearts i'll be real with you all right time to go fight mega satan basically red king no no, no. we almost walked into that that would have been really bad up to one point, sorry, sorry, 3.45 damage, and we have decent range against the strength card, and now we have better range. So now our range isn't complete ass. All right. This fight, I mean, hey, this is going to go pretty well. Like, look how fast we're deleting the hand, right? Obviously not the most important thing to leave, but with the homie, you kind of just got to accept that the hands are going to get hit a lot, so better to at least kill one so you can start shooting the face. All right. Also, wow factor isn't completely useless, because with homing, it will sometimes actually hit, which is uh, nice, because... Before, like, how how Wow Factor typically works is it doesn't actually do anything. Because uh, it only does something against things that chase you. And, like, not a, like not you know, not a lot of things chase you, especially in the boss world. So, like, not very good. But uh, well, the second you have uh, homing or what's that one called? Uh, I'm right now blank on the name of the item. But the item that allows you to control the tears once they're out of you. Um, that item, too, will it'll allow you to control the tears. And they basically are just part of your regular tears at that point. That item is super duper good. Uh, with this specific item. I mean, but right now we have soy milk up with up to four damage. It's pretty cool. Uh, 11 rate of fire, four damage is obviously really good. Especially when you have, like, you know, six or seven shots and homing. It just, it adds up to be something nice, right? 
This run was definitely kind of special. It started off super slow, but we, we fought for something good. Um, it's not broken, and it feels very vanilla because it is very vanilla. Uh, I'm going to try to reset my game and, and fucking with the mod settings a little bit to see if we can uh, get a more modded run. So, I might even do a video, like another over the modded episode where it's Isaac, but every item is modded. Because we can, I can go install that mod right now. And that would, that would probably be nice. Yeah, I might do that. I might do that. I, I have one mod I have to install already that we don't have. And I and I see it in everyone else's modded series. And I love it. And I've never installed it. And I don't actually have an, like any clue as to why. Um, so we definitely got to install that mod. I don't even know what it's called, by the way. That's part of the reason why I haven't installed it, if we're being honest. Um, but I'll go find it. I know, uh, I know where to find the name of it. I'll go check Turtle Melon's... Uh, Tur Turtle Melon uh, recently released a mod. By the way, if you guys don't know Turtle Melon, uh, he's a really cool Binding of Isaac YouTuber that also does End of the Gungeon, so probably not. I should know with Binding of Isaac YouTuber when he, like, does a whole fucking host of shit, but he does play Isaac and Gungeon and several other things in his channel, and he's really cool, and he makes mods as well. Mostly, he's done a lot of room style mods uh, for secret rooms and stuff, and also done some room design for Gungeon as well with Gungeon mods. Um, but he recently released a mod called, that I, I, I haven't installed, but I haven't talked about it, where it actually adds an item pool to haunted chests and spike chest spike chest i'm not too concerned about i don't think they are really that bad because like uh i don't know like i i don't i just don't care about them but haunted chests need uh need a reason right they need a point because haunted chests are literally also i just can't see so we're just taking the damage like i fucking i can barely see anything here but uh yeah, Spike Chest, I don't really care too much about. I'm happy, like, them having one, I'm not against. I'm totally fucking down for it. But it was not, not something I was, like, I would have asked for, right, beforehand. Not something I would have thought to ask for. Still happy to see it. But the fucking Haunted Chest getting one is so good. Because those chests, they're such an awful unlock. Mega Satan with Tainted Loss. Um, and what do they give you? Nothing. Uh, they give you, they're just a regular fucking, like, brown chest pool. And it's awful, but yeah, Turtle Melon added a mod, uh, made a mod that does add a chest pool that is like for the spike chest and haunted chest. And I think it's really cool. And if any of you are playing a uh, mod, I do highly recommend you go do it. I was going to make a video on it, but it's just not enough content to cover. It just adds an item pool. I can go over the item pool, but there's even a full list of fucking items and trinkets for all the chests on the mod page. So there's no real point for me to cover it. I might throw it in a three mods video if I ever go do another one where, you, where I cover three mods. Um... So, maybe, you know, you physically can't approach him right now, by the way, because, like, what the, like, what would I do to get near him right now? Go, like, I mean, this, this is my current plan, just run through the bullets, but, like, you, there was no other way. We could wait longer, and there's probably going to be a way, but that was just a little dumb. All right, after one try, fucking yawn and stretch at the end, because of how long that goddamn boss fight was, we are done. That was a fun run. I mean, Mega Satan's a little boring, to be honest. Uh, especially when you're just, like, look at that. Like, we didn't even try. We got hit a lot, and we were fine. Uh, but anyway, that's gonna be all. I gotta get ready to go make my ramen and then record again. But, uh, but what was I saying? The outro. That's the one. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you please, and I'll see you next time.